Welcome back to the second part of this 1940 DeSoto finish restoration. And again, assisting me today is the cleaner polish from Built Hamber. We've been using this for the single stage paint, both the gray and the blue on this DeSoto. Very thin in some areas, uh, actually rubbed through or worn through to the primer and the bare metal in some areas. That's a patina that the owner wants to keep. There will not be any repainting. Uh, there will not be any chasing after deep imperfections. We're going for a light cleaning. And just this simple process or simple step is going to make a huge turnaround with the finish of this antique. Basically, the point of the series is to show you the gains that can be made without a ton of material removed, whether it be this single stage or even working on clear coat, if you have the right team or the combination put together, meaning the polisher, the pad, and the correction fluid. And here you'll see the difference we've made with hardly any measurable single stage removed from the panel, yet we have a nice turnaround that will make the owner smile. Working on classics and antiques, you're going to be working on curves. I absolutely love them. And we could just step down to smaller polishers because the larger 5-inch backing plate and pads will not make full contact with the surface, obviously. So the smaller polishers, pads, and backing plates make it easier for you.
And once again, a huge difference has been left behind. The deeper imperfections and battle scars left behind. Again, the owner absolutely adores him, gives character, and tells a story on this older vehicle. They weren't running around back in the 1940s looking like a mirror. It was just then where the finish of a vehicle was represented by the paint, where normally before that it was just meant to cover the panel or the metal panels to keep them protected from rusting. And the look really didn't matter at all. Just the preservation of the material was what they were aiming for back then. It wasn't until the 40s and 50s where they brought deep, rich-looking colors to that layer and gave it the overall aesthetic and look of the vehicle. So now we're stepping down to yet another smaller polisher to get in and around emblems and chrome pieces and just trim and fixtures around the vehicle. And we simply continue this process all the way around the vehicle, making huge strides, uh, a big difference in the finish without removing, again, hardly anything that's measurable. And you really couldn't go much further than that because it's just about every panel has an area where the color coat has been worn through down into the primer or the metal itself. Now, yeah, of course, if the vehicle had eight or nine mils worth of single stage, or if it was freshly painted, where there was purposely enough material left behind, you can wet sand, you can uh, cut, you can step down to medium and finish and really go to town and refine and jewel the look, overall finish of the paint and get it looking like a mirror if you wanted to. Uh, but that's becoming a smaller percentage of the owners these days who want to keep that original paint. So we're finished up with that. We can start removing the tire wheel covers, get the masking tape off of there, and move on to the next step. And as you can see, nothing changes. I do all the work while Junior either plays on his phone or watches TV. It's that generation. Kidding aside, he's far exceeded all the expectations I ever had of him, and that's just being my son does a fantastic job when his head is into it he's just taking a short break till we get into the next portion which is jumping into the chrome there's a lot of chrome to do and i'm going to lean on the noxon for that work does a fantastic job metal polish cleaner polish does more of a cleaning and um, a brightening of chrome than anything else and that's all we really need of it here With the chrome all cleaned up, brightened up, we can grab the Glossom Wax from Phoenix EOD. And this contains amino polymers and a little bit of carnauba and a bunch of other things to really brighten up this paint, this single stage. And I mentioned before, I do not coat single stage. It's very absorbent and takes many layers and can get very expensive and timely and if you don't do it right can look blotchy so i like acrylics or carnauba or polymers for single stage to brighten it up fill in those pores and protect these vehicles don't see mother nature often they're often stored indoors so it doesn't take much to protect them uh, a good sealant polymer sealant is perfect Gloss and Wax is an easy on, easy off formula. You can either apply it, go all the way around the vehicle, and then come back and start to wipe it off, or just go one panel at a time. Put it on nice and thick. A little bit does go a long way. Just those three or four dots on the application pad can easily do this huge hood here.
hardly any effort, no high spots, streaks, or smears, and you see that nice warm glow left behind. A good first person view will give you an idea just how easy this is to use. In a shaded area, direct sunlight, great for mobile detailers. Also something to keep in mind, all microfibers, applicators, and pads will have transfer from that single stage. So I use older ones. Some of the pads and microfibers and, and applicators I use do get thrown away after. So we just repeat the process all the way around the vehicle and these are the results. A nice warm glow from that carnauba and the amino polymers and the protection is laid down. We can move on to the next step and that's protecting the tires and the white walls. We spent all that time cleaning up the white walls, and even if you have white wall lettering, this is a great way to protect them and keep them clean. With that all wrapped up, we want to jump to the running boards condition and protect them as well. Gion Preserve will do that job for us. That will move us along to a carefully orchestrated interior detail. You have to keep in mind some of these materials have been around forever and will literally fall apart in your hands if you're not careful. Harsh chemicals, uh, real aggressive tools uh, will not be used here. You can use a little bit of steam, uh, hardly any moisture whatsoever. For the rubber mats here, any liner, rubber, um, even bed liner, the McKees Floor Mat Rejuvenator is the way to go. Take care of the windows, the door jams, and a lot of the interior is made of metal, including the dash and the inner door panels that gets taken care of with a quick detailer in most instances. And if there's a lot of chrome, we break out the chrome polish as well. And that will do it for this detail. We take it outside, stage it for the customer who's on his way, and we can't wait for that smile. It's absolutely amazing to see two cars sit side by side that are separated by almost a century. The curvy DeSoto next to the pointy, edgy Shelby. That's going to do it for this video in this short series. I hope you enjoyed. It's time to get on to the next vehicle. We have a busy week. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. I appreciate each and every one of you, and we'll see you in the next video.